You're welcome, everyone at home, for the beautiful singings of <laughs> Maria me. Parmesani. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't sing, but I have tried my hand at pumpkin carving, mm -hmm. and it's come out uh, interesting. Eh. That's what my husband likes to say. Unique. It's yeah, special. <laughs> yes, special. Yeah, that's how how mine turns out. And then there's Matt Harper. His pumpkin creations have continued to expand, and our very own Alex Steiniger, Anik, Alex Steiniger, I'm so sorry, Alex, is standing by with him to find out how it's done. Alex? It's okay, Maria. It's kind of a difficult name, isn't it? It's very German. But anyway, so we're here with Matt, and Matt, you know, f for this not being your day job, how on earth did you get so good at doing this? You know, it started out with just a, um, the triangle eyes, like everyone does, and it's kind of morphed. Um, I, I, slight sculpture background, but... It, I wanted to do more and go a little bit beyond just the, the standard jack-o'-lantern. So I, it's kind of why I'm getting a little bit more into the, the actual skin of it and, and digging, trying to make them more 3D. Right, you're getting more use out of the pumpkin. You're taking it to the next level. Right, trying to. Definitely, well, you do. And so how, how do you know which pumpkin to use? How do you know it's going to be good for doing a sculpture like this? You know, what I, I typically will do is I'll try to pick one that is a little bit heavier than it looks. Okay. So what I'm really going for, and these, these are pretty decent-sized um, ones. You want The bigger, the better, too. It helps to... Uh, get more depth into it. But um, when you get a really big one that's heavy, it means it has a thicker wall. So Definitely. you can get more depth into it and before you break through. And that's kind of the, that's what you're really trying to go for to get more of a sculpture feel for it. Right, and where, I mean, how on earth do you, are you like, I want to make a face and I want the nose to look like this. Where do your ideas come from? You know, they, uh, uh, sometimes right from the pumpkin itself. So I'll look at the pumpkin and I'll, I'll see kind of a, a really cool stem or I'll look and see a, 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 a bump right here or something like that and I'll say, well, that could be a, a nose or it could be cheeks or, and it, I've even gone and, and done smaller pumpkins where it's an elephant when there's, and there's ears and that kind that's, of thing. So that's really cool. So you kind of look at the, kind of like the, the pumpkin itself and mm -hmm. say, I already kind of see features in it. See something in there and then you just kind of work on getting that other stuff away so that the uh, being emerges. That's yeah. quite the talent. Do you think anyone can do this? I, I'm convinced because I started, when I started, they were horrible. I mean, and, and, uh, <laughs> and again, they started out really triangly and I, I wanted to go a little deeper. And the nice part about it, it's a pumpkin. It's, it's going to rot and uh, you can throw it out and, right. and uh, it only lasts a few days anyway, so your mistakes are, aren't permanent. And uh, so that's, that's the, the nice part about it is you can turn a mistake into something else. And by the way, you have a whole other side. If you make one mistake on one side, it's, you know, it's pretty easy to use it. Right. And it's something everyone starts somewhere. And if sure. you make a mistake, you can always start over. Right. And, and I've been doing it a few years successively. It's gotten, I've tried to get better and better and, and get more detail into it. And how long do these typically take you to make, like, like this one, for instance, over here? That was a couple hours. Um, and, I mean, to do it right and to get all the, the fine detail in there, it takes a little longer. And, and you, you know, you could spend a whole Saturday, you know, you know whittling away on it. But what we're going to work on today, will, it, it's going to be relatively cut and, cut and block and, and try to get something, you know, noticeable out of it. Excellent. Well, I'm excited to get going. And we'll be carving throughout the show. And if you're interested in commissioning a pumpkin sculpture for your personal or corporate party, you can give Matt a call at 904-2242. We'll be working on our pumpkins until the end of the show. And after the break, we'll tell you where to go to make sure that your car's safety systems are operating correctly. Stay tuned. And at the top of the show, we left Alex with Matt and the pumpkins. So how's it going now, Alex? Thanks, ladies. It's, it's actually going pretty well. I mean, uh, Matt's is decidedly better than mine so far, but why don't we show you a little bit what mine's looking like? We'll wait to the end of the show to show Matt's. But that's the progress so far, if we can get a shot of that. Uh, it's, it's looking pretty terrifying, right? But we're using these special tools, and Matt, what are, what are these really? I mean, they're not for pumpkins especially, but... Yeah, they're, they're clay tools, and, um, and I've kind of arranged them so that you can see, um, like, the difference. The, this is just a metal loop, effectively. These are um, typically just for clay. And then there's smaller versions for more detail, and then even tinier versions here for, uh, for the smallest detail. Nice. And then uh, even at the very end, I'll use an X-Acto knife to kind of carve and get a little bit more um, detailed shape in there. Excellent. Well, they're actually pretty effective. I mean, they, we're chipping away at things here, and although it's making a little bit of a mess, it actually does carve away the parts really yeah. well. It does, and, and the nice part too is, is you can be light-handed at the beginning, and, but you want to make sure that you're carving as close to that center as you can without breaking through. Definitely. Well, Matt, we'll keep going on these, and those are a lot more morning blend when we return. See you guys in a bit. Well, now from cupcakes to pumpkins, let's check back with Alex and Matt to see how their pumpkins are coming along. Well, hello. We're here <laughs> in the best of our pumpkin carving times, and we'll show you what it's like right after this break. 
Well, I know. They can do nice costumes, but mm -hmm. they can they make a good pumpkin? That's the well, question, right. celebrities. So, mm -hmm. uh, yes, celebs. <laughs> Alex, you've been working on yours. How hard has it been, to, I mean, standing next to this pro to do yours? You know what? With his guidance, yeah. it was easy. But even without his guidance, I think it's not rocket science. Right. You just have to look at the pumpkin and say, what do you see? And so I think it's time that we reveal our both, pumpkins. Both of them. They look both pretty them. much the same from back here. And here we go. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. Da da da. <laughs> you did a pretty good job, yeah, Alex. Yeah, what Alex. do you think, Matt? How did, do you think I did okay? You did absolutely it? did. Okay. Were you going for a baboon? I don't know what I was going for. <laughs> it does look like a it baboon. It does. <laughs> One thing I like about his actually is that he, he used the, the open mouth to make it look a little bit more <laughs> ominous. So I was, uh, Thank you so Goodbye. much, guys. Come Thank back anytime. You.